So basically, the king's palace is in Ashtown. Yeah, Ashtown, Mencia. Oh, okay, Mencia. Mencia, you call it Mencia Palace. Mencia Palace. Yeah. I Ashtown see it. Ashtown is here. Mencia is. This part is Mencia. Okay. Mencia. Mencia. Oh, two police. Oh. <laughs> well. Where, what does the mean? What's the meaning? Where, where or two for the oh, oh, okay, yeah. Where or two? Or two, two the, the chief. Yeah. Or two for. So whoever is a shanty or claims to be a shanty must acknowledge him as king. Yeah. The whole and man. he's the ruler of. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Ghana has a vote. Oh, okay. He's the most superior king. Mm. In the whole Ghana. Yeah. But for that shanties, but he's the best. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think he, his chief, this thing, has dominated. Even the mm. UK thing has endorsed him. Oh, okay. If the UK thing, the UK thing, come to Ghana, he come to this man. Because of this man, this chief. Interesting. Interesting. And this is his court already with the cars parked outside. Yeah, every yard. These are like uh, pe his pe sub his his subjects' uh, cars. Yeah, those working in the palace. Hmm. All the yards are okay. So everything is the palace. We are still going every house. My goodness. Yep, this is big. A bit like a president in some sort. Oh. As big as the president. How do we go? Let's go. This way, straight. It's very big. It's very, very big. Go. Yeah. So, so you go and reach the, the boss who can sell house. That house, you can't venture. That the house, palace, yeah. That Like the main entrance to the palace. Huh? Is that this is one of the entrance or the main entrance? Yeah. It's one of the it's we closed. So many And I see he proudly endorses Asante Kotoko because I saw the banners right in front of the palace. Is, is he a shareholder? Does he own the club or there's no affiliation with Asante Kotoko, the club? 
Yeah. Does the king has anything to do? Yeah, yeah, it's for him. That's ah. Okay. But I can leave on that. Okay. That one, very good. That is for the lunch. Hmm. Okay. Here's the man. The poster. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Good morning. Oh, good afternoon. It is. It is afternoon, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. And then you hear people beating drums. Yeah. Yes. Watch our drum. Yeah. It beats. I mean, they beat the drum the whole day, or at some point. Uh, say maybe there's an issue, something like oh, okay. uh, royal family, like funeral. It's royal. Mm. They're one of the royal. And what what does this tool stand for? I mean this. It's like a. There is new country. Okay. Let's go to the museum. Okay. They will brief us the meaning of this at the okay, yeah. at the museum. I see other folks are in front already. Uh, they have preceded us. The ones in front. Uh... And these are our offices, I suppose. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. And he lives right in the heart of Kumasi. Yeah. Okay. And that's a political statement. <laughs> to say maybe in a sense that he is Kumasi or the king is Kumasi mm -hmm. or Kumasi is the king, I'm not sure. This is the museum. I think we have to enter here. Yes. Ah. Oh, yeah. oh, straight like this. Yeah. You should just find the other, the other tourists. You know, the ones that were before us, we just follow them. You see what the bus is here. Oh, okay. Is, is this where the main office of Kotoko is? No, no, no. They have their office at the stadium. Okay. But more of they come and greet the kids. The okay.
not go beyond this point. I think they went in here. Yeah, they should have gone in. You want to inquire? Since 
know, they made a fake body to the new to the British, they took it away, and we used an open bed from the show. And when our king came back, they built this this building in the year 1825 and gave it to us as a compensation for burning down our first palace and also taking our king into exile. With Asantis knowing what they have done by giving them a fake body to, they didn't accept this building as a compensation. They paid a total amount of this building before they now moved into this building. So in front of this building, and our president first took a picture with his own sister, who was their grandmother there, and her name is Sarah Wanda the Yabo, the second. So after defeating another sanctuary age of 65, they captured her also and sent her to Seychelles Island. She also spent 15 years in prison, fell sick, and died at the age of 80. When Nana Prepper first died, his own nephew succeeded him, and here is his nephew. He became the Asantikini at the age of 39 years and reigned for 39 years. She did a lot of things in our kingdom. His role is for Saint Chukyu, for Saint Kwame Chukyu. And his tool's name is Anna Prempe the second. Because in our kingdom, if you become the king, you are not going to rule with your own name. But you will be given his tool's name. Anna Prempe the second designed our own flag, the flag of society, in the year 1935. And this is our flag. Our flag is older than the Ghana flag. We have three colors here. We have yellow, black, and green. The yellow stands for the gold in our kingdom. The black is our color, like my brother is in it. <laughs> <laughs> and the green is our forest. So we see a rich black man living in his own forest. And there is also an emblem in the flag, it is called the crocodile's hat. And you will see the Nchenche. The Nchenche. <laughs> the Nchenche. It was made with three animals. Alke is the head of a video. In the middle is the tail of a python. And this side is the back of a crocodile. The video is very strong in air. The python is strong on land. And the crocodile is so wild and strong in water. This is telling us that wherever you find yourself on earth as an Asante, you have to be strong and brave, physically, mentally, and spiritually. So we see if you kill a thousand, a thousand more will surface in the face of the Kuma of the man. We also have a foot rest here. In our own language, we call it Akokowa. Akokowa. Whenever you see the king putting his feet on Akokowa, either in states or in office, or in his office, bear in mind that it protects him from people with bad intentions who come to greet the king. Over here is the picture of Nana Prempe, the second when he was young, a very handsome man. He married only eight wives and gave birth to 21 children. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the next picture is our queen mother, who died in the year 2016 at the age of 111. She reigned for 39 years and her name is Nana the Fia Kobise the second. She gave birth to five children, but three are there no more and the remaining two. The youngest is our current king and the eldest is our current queen. So now it is a brother and a sister ruling the kingdom. It can also be a mother and a son, but never a husband and wife, because we practice the matrilineal system of inheritance. And the wife of the king can never be a queen, yeah. because she is not a royal. The sons and daughters of the king can never be a king or a queen, because they are not from a royal family. They are not from Nana, the fear of the Sewa, Ampin's lineage. In the palanquin, we carry the king on our shoulders and the queen on our head, signifying that the kingdom belongs to women and the men are the strength of the kingdom. The name of our current king is Okemsuo Osei Tutu II. He is a chartered accountant by profession and also Chancellor of Pan and Koma University of Science and Technology since 2006. And he is now 73 years old. And the name of our current queen is Nana Makuna Lubia III. She is also 90. Years old. On the left side of the king is the body stool. The body stool is a king on its own. So whenever it comes out, it has a seat it is sitting on. Only the king's dress are put of allegiance to the body stool. And the last time it came out, it came out was 2019. And the time we were celebrating the biggest festival in our kingdom called Anekesi. We have two festivals in our kingdom. We have Akoside and Anekesi. Anekesi is the biggest. We celebrate 
that at the, every five years. And I was there at the end of every month. On our calendar, we have 42 days in a month and nine months in a year. So we are already in February waiting for you to join us. <laughs> so at the end of every 42 days, which is one month, we celebrate the Apostle Day. I was saying in Sunday born, and at the end, is our ancestors who are asleep. We believe our ancestors don't die, they just go to sleep. So we do that in remembrance of them, or we celebrate it with them. You can turn to the side. The next picture is the 15th king, the 15th Asante king, whose name is Makatechi Ukoku the second. One of the peaceful kings we found in our kingdom. He was a lawyer by profession and also Ghana's ambassador to Italy before becoming a king. And he was the one who converted our second palace into a museum in the year 1995. He reigned from 1970 to 1999. There is a headband here, and there are two fishes on the headband. The fish up there is biting the fish down, and the fish down is biting the fish up. They are biting each other. We call it Ubikevia, Ubikevi. If you bite me, I'll bite you back. It is a symbol of retaliation. Meaning, if you step on the toes of the king, you also step on your toes. But he is a very peaceful king. But you don't forget. The next picture is the map of the Gold Coast colony and Ashanti. When the British came, they came and settled at the southern part, due to the plenty gold jade, they named the section Gold Coast. But Ashanti wasn't part of the Gold Coast colony. We were independent, and this purple line there was the border that was separating Ashanti from Gold Coast. It is a river called River Pra. So Pra was separating Asante from the Gold Coast colony. Asante was bigger than Gold Coast. Asante extended the border to Burkina Faso. So the most people in Burkina, they are part of Asante. And the Bali people in Agri Coast, they are also part of Asante. So we were independent, financially stable, doing well on our own, economically and culturally. Until the British came into our territories and fought with us seven times, which lasted for 100 years. With the four cabins in our country, it's a little small in present day Ghana. But even now, we have six regions out of the 16 regions. They are all part of Asante. The last picture is the battle dress. The powerful priest of Mongo are not changing this battle dress in the year 1717 for the second Asante in who are the first only for the purpose of war. When the king wears this on the battlefield and shoots him, he won't die. It is our own locally built place. Jacket. It was made with charms, gold, metals, armlets, and so many things. It's quite heavy, never been washed before, but well preserved. Now we don't go for all stables, so the king wears the battle dress when he's performing the funeral rites of the queen mother, or when he's being installed as a king. He will wear the battle dress. And the last thing is a leaf in the mouth of the king. It is called Aya. It grows on the palm tree. Whenever the king puts Aya in his mouth, it pushes away the most spirit from him. So this is where I will end our talk. I thank you very much for coming to the Shah Police Museum. Our main museum is an innovation. That's why we are here in the main museum. So when our main museum is open, I will expect you again. If you have any questions, you can come up. Thank you.